In this episode of More Time Financial Gen Y Advice, we're talking about different investment options and where they might be suitable for you. So in yesterday's episode, we talked about using term deposits as an investment. In today's episode, we're talking about property as an investment. So when we talk about property, we're not talking about buying a home for you to live in. We're not talking about you using your family home. We're talking about an investment property. So this is buying a property for someone else to rent off you and they pay the rent to you and whether that covers the mortgage or not, then you need to put top up the difference. So there's pros and cons on buying investment properties. One con or one downside is the fact that it's a very high entry cost. So what I mean by that is obviously you need to have a deposit, there's purchase costs, there's legal fees and there's lots of things that add up very quickly. So this might be, may be suitable for you and what we usually see in terms of an investment property or an investment portfolio using property is that it's a longer term investment. So you're not going to be able to access the money very quickly and there's going to be a lot of debt attached to having an investment property. So this may or may not be suitable for you depending on your personal, personal circumstances, but it's really important that you understand what you're getting into and a lot of people like the idea of property, but they don't really understand how it works. They've just seen their parents make money off property and they see a lot of property things in the news and it's all over social media, buying property before you're 25, buying 33 properties before you're 30. And it's a really great investment if you use it wisely, but there are a lot of risks and before you decide to invest, in property or buy an investment property is really important that you understand what you're getting yourself into and you seek some financial advice.